Uh, it happened to be a stargazer in the valley. I... how'd you know? The exulting sanctum sky dome malfunctioned half an hour ago. It was probably caused by unusual yin-yang phenomena. Oh my goodness. Does she actually expect me to have to read all this? One second can mean the difference between life and death for this kind of thing. Can you folks please go take a look? Sure. Am I allowed to say no? Probably not. So... Mr. Yang is also nearby? Oh. Why is this our problem? There are like a million people on this ship, you could ask. Where am I going now? Which one was it? There it is. Why did you not auto-navigate? Silly game? You think I know where I'm going just because it was less than 20 meters away? This Shi Kuei sent us a Psy Crane. See if you can get an aerial visual. Aerial visual? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, goodness. You've got drones now? Oh, my God. Well, this is unexpected. What is that? Why is there a cube? Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, ignore that. What exactly am I looking for? What is... What is, what is this about? What's, what, 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 what are you pointing me at this for? No idea. I mean, there's a boat right here. Seems pretty obvious. Oh, I was supposed to press R? <laughs> I... Hmm. Sorry, do you want me to be a little bit farther away from the boat? My bad. Sorry, I'm not an expert sight crane driver. God. We found it. Looks like the pilot isn't inside. I'm gonna be if honest, I feel like we could have just used our eyeballs. Down, they kind should of, still be nearby. Kind of huge. Ma'am. How did you get up there? There. That must be who Miss Shikwe asked. Ma'am, what? Where even is that? Is that on the same plane that I'm on already? I don't know. Why am I fighting this thing? A moment's excitement. Thank you. Thank you for ignoring me. Appreciate it. I can't go this way. Um. Now, I don't know about you, but I saw... I saw my sword before I saw his, so I think I just got scammed. Easiest game of all time. Can I please have the elevator? Jeez. You don't see me. You don't see me either. Nope. I went the wrong way. Oh, you still don't see me. I'm not here. Nope, did not come back. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope, not here. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to get over there. It's just that this place is purposefully confusing. Oh no, she's being attacked hey, by the wolves. Wow, those sure were some intense enemies. Let's hold out for a little longer. The cloud knights should be here soon. You're telling me we can't take on a couple of dogs? Really? Just run! These monsters can't get up here anytime soon. Mr. Yang, let's get out of here. She told us to leave. Hold out a little longer. I know you can do it. I know I can too. I just thought it'd be funny. You two have held out long enough. Help is at hand. Oh no, we gotta fight them a second Hold time. Oh, we're done for. Me. After cleansing the area of the abomination, the cloud rides rescue the trapped girl. As her mother. Wait a minute. Thank you. You're her factory. child. For now, I will excuse myself. Okay, bye. <sighs> You always do this, mother. Scold me before figuring out what actually happened. Oh, here we go. It was a dire situation. I was the only one who could. You promised me, Ching Ni. We shall discuss this when we return. Um, are we in the middle of something? Please excuse us, benefactor. You please leave. You made this very uncomfortable. I didn't know you, Kong, had that side door. Which which one are you talking about? I don't. You have a unique way of. We only met her for like five seconds last time. I don't know what you want wrong. from me, man. There's something I don't understand. Yes, Ching Ni piloted a star skiff without permission and put herself in danger. Yeah, well, I feel like this is none of our business. Um, maybe don't try and figure out what's going on. Yu Kong and her daughter's relationship really is not our problem. I think we should stay out of it. <gasps> is the secretary gonna be here? <gasn't> there she is. Why won't you listen? Still doesn't have new dialogue. I did successfully cut off Yu Kong, though. That's something to be said. Sorry, guys. Were you fighting over here? I just didn't care. You know I have the talent to make it. Not only have you broken the Skyfaring Commission's regulations, but you've broken your promise to me. Do we? They all said I was a genius, like you, like mother, like daughter. They were all jealous I don't know of how me. To, I just don't care. But no one even knew I had to take the test behind your back. 
Guys, we're here for tea. Is this a bad time? Hi, do you really think you could have walked into the test and sat in the cockpit if I hadn't given my permission behind the scenes? So, about that tea. <laughs> don't understand. And I don't understand why you don't understand. Oh, that's deep. That's deep right there. That line right there, that's deep. Ching-Ni, where are you going? Uh, we weren't listening that whole time. It's okay, we weren't standing here. Awkwardly. I'm sorry you had to What? No, this. we didn't see anything. We should have given you some time. I apologize for allowing my own personal matters to encroach on your time. I, oh, seemed like some backward logic, but okay. We don't intend to pry into private business, Hellmaster Yukong. But if no, there's anything no. we can don't help say it. with, no. please don't hesitate to ask. <sighs> Family issues, I'm afraid. Oh, thank God. Probably heard a thing or two just now. No, 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 I plugged my ears, Despite it's my fine. Earnest... Oh, I prepared refreshments for you. Mm, thank you. Please, you must try this excellent whale tide spring. What the heck is a whale tide spring? Please explain to me what that is. Is that, is that a snack? Is that the tea? Please accept well, I'd heard from members of the Skyfaring Commission that you were a top-tier pilot. When Madame did you Yukon. hear that? Forward to our next meeting, Madam Yukong. <laughs> what was just saying? <laughs> You're just playing it off like, yeah, I knew that all along, actually. Welt's real ability is making it seem like he knows everything, not actually knowing everything. He's actually a big goofus, but he's really good at lying. You too, Ugh. please, wait. No, don't drag me into this. <sighs> Uh, it's, uh, you shouldn't have talked like that to your mother, how dare you. You think so too, Benefactor? You don't have to call me Benefactor, I, I, please. We don't even know each other. I, I'm an adult now. I'm an I adult now. I have the now. right to pursue my dreams. I've got the problems of an adult on my head and on my shoulders. I'm an adult now. I can't even... <clears throat> uh, Miss ching -Ni, these are family matters. Yes, family matters, not our matters. Leave us alone. My mom is actually a reasonable person. She hid my star skip toys. Ma'am, do you not have friends you could be talking to about this? Like, <sighs> how are you dragging us into this? So, how were mom's refreshments? Oh, you're hungry, I get it. Um, yeah, it was quite nice. <sighs> I've been so angry today, I forgot to eat anything. Yeah, you're not getting any of my snacks, sorry. <laughs> oh, I know a really great place in star skip haven to star skip watch. What, literally anywhere? Oh, literally right over there. There are a lot of mung bean soda moments in life. If you don't try, you won't know. But I still want to fly among the stars. Well then, do it. Yeah, was your mom gonna do? Me. Beat you up? No. Have you heard of the Foxy and Birth Fate tradition? Nope. Is it really okay to bother you two again? No, it's not. Ching these memories? What? That's not a reward. Oh, not this again. If we can get to the bottom of why Helm Master, you call. Oh my God! It's so obvious. She had a kid, and she doesn't want to die in the yes. sky when she's got a kid. Jeez. <laughs> Yu Kong doesn't want to die in the sky and leave her daughter behind, and she doesn't want her daughter to die in the sky and leave her behind. How hard is this? Yu Kong is a survivor of that war. Her best friend, Tsai, perished on the battlefield. Oh no, not Tsai. <sighs> Fine, back to the palace. Hey, Yu Kong, want to dredge up memories? I actually guess there would be some connection. Oh, Miss Ching Ni is so smart. See you in a bit, I guess. If I must. Literally outside the door. Imagine someone said see you in a bit and then immediately showed up in front of you. I would be concerned. Did you find anything out from General Jing Yuan? Yeah, some lady died. And she thinks that my talent makes it more likely that she'll lose me in the same way? That's crazy how a mother might worry about the safety Jing. of her child. What a, what a shocking revelation. Right, Mr. Yang. I remember watching her handle a document with great care before she filed it away. It looked like a diary. Why? Why? Why are we looking for a diary? Um, I don't know if that's really uh, necessary. I... Mm, it should be you know what? here. Who am I to step in the way of a mother Let's and a daughter? Uh, do whatever you want, Chingy. It's fine. <gasps> Miss Ching Is it really that big of a deal? Let's read it together. <sighs> Maybe her diary. Bro, just talk to your mother like a human being. Holy. Blah, blah, blah. Your mom used to be a street racer and then she was a pilot. Uh, she's in love with Sai. Who is Guan Yang exactly? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter who he was, he was dead. And Sai was in love with him, understood. So Sai's love died, and now Yukong's sad. 
Uh, war sucks. That's a good paragraph. Yep. Uh, wow, this is all just war bad. War bad. Yep. Uh, still war bad. Um, war bad. Sai, I have to tell you a lot of things. Now she's writing to a dead person. Wow, uh, I gotta be honest, reading all this, I feel like we learned zero new things. Yep, that was definitely worth reading. What do you have in your hands? Madam Yukong's diary? For telling us all this, Mr. Yeah, Lee. thanks for telling all this that we literally just read a second ago in her diary. Uh, Please don't tell your mother that you saw me today. <laughs> okay. Although, if you're in the building and we're in the building, wouldn't it be more suspicious if we didn't see you? This looks similar to mom's diary. <gasps> now we're gonna read a dead woman's diary? Wow, we are terrible people. And by we, I mean Ching Ni is terrible. Kong, it's been a long time. I'm still on my maternity leave. Oh my god, Sai Yi had a kid too? So after much pondering, I've decided to go with your suggestion and call her Ching Ni. Oh no! Oh my god, it's not Yu Kong's daughter the whole time. Ching Ni is. Sai's daughter? Oh no! Holy jeez, that is... Yikes! If you lived and I didn't, please take care of Chingy like you would your own daughter. No matter what kind of person Chingy wants to become, please support her fully. Merchant, poet, street performer? What about a street fighter? <laughs> Anything except a jet fighter. Chingy, are you gonna be okay? I suppose I've always had a feeling. Of course you do. Sure, why not? But now I know the truth. Don't let that child touch the sky. Yeah, see, your real mom hated you. Is this I mean, why what? mom <laughs> refuses to let me become a fighter pilot? I don't know. It could be anything, really. Um, it really could be anything, but it could be that, too. I don't know. Maybe? Ah, maybe we should read it again. I don't know. Can you come with me one more time? Jingni, look... I want to have a proper chat with mom. I feel like I've already gone way too deep with this. I just want you and Mr. Yang to stand nearby. I guess Ching Ni really doesn't have any friends. Okay. When mom feels down, she usually goes to take in a view of the Jade Gate. Yep, she really goes far. Ching Ni, why are Mr. Yang and they here too? Dude, I've been asking the same question. I want to become a fighter pilot, no matter what. No? Means no. Sai's diary? Yeah, your daughter's incredibly nosy. I like how we're standing I'll closer to you, Kong, than she is. Say. I once longed for the sky. Infinite. Is this gonna be another long string of dialogue where we He's learn nothing? Surrounded. Of course I missed you. The galaxy felt smaller without you in my cockpit. I you telling me you guys really fly the same ship? But given the choice. <laughs> That's a good I point. Always pick this. But she's also described as a god tier pilot, so I I don't know. I, Sorry, they made it sound like they were doing some initial D nonsense when they were kids, and now she's a gunner. Jeez. Also, who put the gunner in the cockpit? Shouldn't they have their own separate space? God, just saying. Every just saying. Conversation. Oh no, she's Sai. dead. I didn't know that. I didn't know she died. On, I thought I didn't know she died. Sai. Damn. So not only did she put it in her diary, but she, it was her last words too away Sai and the lives of hundreds of thousands of fighters. The world's loudest lawnmower is back. Good to know. The rainbow. If crushing our enemies was as easy as breathing for the rainbow arbiter, then what purpose did our sacrifices serve? Maybe the maybe the rainbow arbiter had to like use your souls to like charge up their super blast, you know? Into the might I'll take you to fill in the paperwork tomorrow. You'll start as ground crew, just like Sai and I did. Incredible. What an end. No thoughts, head empty. I'm willing to... I want to... fly with you at least once. I'm afraid I can't. So Yukong was definitely in love with Sai Yi. Unfortunately, Sai Yi had a husband. Um, that's a shame. Yeah, let's not disturb them ever again. Let's uh, never, ever disturb them ever again. Just never. Nope, not happening. That, that was the most none of our business quest I could ever possibly imagine.